Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the ASIL H1. These are a pair of wireless in-ear style headphones that sell for 70 bucks. That seems a little expensive at first, but that's because they actually have dual drivers. So there's both a balanced armature driver, that's uh, on the first layer, and the second layer there is also a dynamic driver. So having two of these means that supposedly sound quality will be more nuanced, you'll feel more bass, you'll also hear more clean mids and highs than something with a single driver, for instance. At least that's the claim. So there's a bit, a bit more attention to detail uh, in regard to the sound than the typical pair of budget Bluetooth earbuds, and hence why the price is also a little more expensive. Battery life is rated at 11 hours, which is about average, I'd say. Bluetooth is using just Bluetooth 4.1 for a connection range of 10 meters or 33 feet. This is a relatively new company. It seems like they're based in Beijing, China. And on the back, you have some basic information about these. They are magnetic, they are waterproof, so you can wear them to the gym, you can get them wet, and they should still survive. And they do have a built-in mic as well, which allows you to answer phone calls uh, when paired to an Android or iOS device. So in the packaging here, we have just a quick instruction manual for the earbuds themselves. In addition, we have the micro USB cable for charging, and then there are spare silicon tips to get a more comfortable fit. A quick look at the design and build first. They are pretty clean and classy. There's a small logo on the outer tips, which are magnetic, and they have kind of this brushed metal texture to them. But aside from that, the rest of the earbuds are made out of plastic. It's a polycarbonate build, which feels pretty decent, but it's not you know the most premium looking thing in the world. We have this kind of matte texture on the outer edges, and then the parts on the inside are very glossy but still made out of plastic. Now something that's a little strange about the design is that we have two of these remote modules on both the left and right sides of your ears. Typically with Bluetooth earphones we only have one of these so I originally thought that battery life would be longer because it has more room and space to integrate maybe a secondary battery pack but again at around 11 hours that's very average for Bluetooth earbuds. Uh, regardless we do have the company's logo again and on the other side we do have volume controls. The center key, key here also dubs as the power key, so I can tap and hold for a few seconds to turn it on and to activate the pairing mode. You can see a small blue LED light on the side here, which will flash to give you an indicator of where it's at. And again, it's waterproof, so you have the micro USB door sealed off and closed to prevent water from leaking in. So overall, I do like the design. Again, it is pretty sleek and clean, uh, as well as modern, without being too flashy or over the top. Sound quality and performance are generally pretty good. I would say they sound very balanced, so it's not going to be too overpowering in terms of the bass, but it's definitely present. You can kind of feel it if you're playing back bass boosted or EDM music with, the, with the drum beats. But uh, more specifically, the lower mids are particularly impressive, and you really do feel it when uh, singers are you know using their lower registers. Mids and highs are also done very well. They're very clean sounding, and again, it creates a very immersive sound when you start wearing them. So even though it's not going to be earth shattering in terms of the bass, they're not going to be as powerful as over ear cell headphones with larger drivers, I do find them to be, again, very pleasant for listening to all types of genres. Now, the only part where I was slightly disappointed with the audio would be there's a slight amount of uh, noise in the background. It's not completely silent, like on more expensive audiophile grade or high-res certified earbuds. So even if you pause the music, you'll be able to hear a little bit of a hiss in the background. So ever so slight noise that you kind of just ignore after listening to music for a while, but it is there. It's not going to be as silent as, again, more expensive models. Um, they're not active noise cancelling either, so they're not really supposed to have that sound. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. However, these are very comfortable just because of the lightweight plastic nature. The fact that the earbuds, at least to me, are very ergonomic. These sit into your uh, kind of a uh, your drums very well, and the tips themselves, again, are very comfortable as well. So they naturally isolate a good amount of sound as you're wearing them. You kind of, again, get sealed off into your own world with the music, which is great. Audio latency is good, but if you play and pause the track after playing it again, there seems to be a split second delay before it catches up. But as a whole, for watching quick YouTube clips, or watching movies, I didn't really encounter any problems. And again, it was quite immersive. The volume was also very good. The microphone also picked up my voice quite well when I did a sample phone call earlier. I had no complaints. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the ASIL H1 in-ear style wireless Bluetooth earbuds with these magnetic end caps. Uh, again, the selling point here is the fact that it has that dual driver setup, which supposedly gives you better sound. And indeed, there's definitely more depth to this particular pair of earbuds than you'll find in most pairs in this budget price. Uh, what I mean by that is everything is very balanced. There's plenty of lows. There's also a good amount of clean highs that creates a very, uh, again, attractive overall listening experience regardless 
regardless of if you're listening to classical, listening to pop, or listening to EDM. Uh, downsides would be the fact that, again, there's still a little bit of noise in the background, so not completely audiophile grade. Furthermore, the build quality, although solid, I do think could be slightly enhanced if they wanted to use a flat ribbon wire that prevents tangling, and maybe some aluminum or metal accents here and there to justify, again, that $70 price, which is still a little bit on the expensive side for a relatively new brand. So you can check out more details about these in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. If you're looking for an immersive pair of wireless Bluetooth earbuds that doesn't break the bank, these are definitely worth a closer look. Thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. That's been our hands-on review of the ASIL H1 wireless in-ear headphones.